But what I find really interesting about Burning Man, which is this annual arts festival that takes place in the Black Rock Desert, which is this vast prehistoric lake bed in uh, northwestern Nevada, it's always been a source not only of sort of huge entertainment, but also really deep, thought-provoking uh, reflection on human society and, and how you create a workable human society. Um, the, the beauty of, of Burning Man, in a way, is the fact that it's sort of intentionally uh, temporal. Um, uh, when Burning Man assembles now, each year in the desert, it becomes, for the week that it runs, the fifth largest city in Nevada. And uh, it, it, it has all of the problems, um, or not all of the problems, I shouldn't say that, it said many of the problems that big cities have. How do you develop an infrastructure to support the residents while they're there? How do you provide for people uh, basic needs without infringing upon their creative um, abilities to, to fulfill their own needs? Um, and really over the years, um, the, the organizers of the event, along with their participants, have evolved a system of, of, um, of different elements which work together to ensure sort of the, the safety of, of, of participants in the event uh, and, and certain uh, minimal aspects of the well-being, but also allowing for a kind of um, uh, freedom to experiment and a freedom to provide for uh, themselves that really flourishes and really helps individuals and groups that, that, that attend as collectives to, um, to explore uh, their creativity and their, their um, human ingenuity.